everybody. How is everyone? Been a while, but now that the weather's changing, we start getting some more videos out. And now that I live just that little bit further away from work than when I used to, I can do like these little videos on the way home. Do you know how it is when you've got when you do something which is new for yourself and whatnot and then all of a sudden next thing you know you notice everybody else is doing it yeah well it's like when we got pregnant with Oliver we were noticing on Facebook and here there and everywhere how everyone was just coming who was getting pregnant you know, having babies and things like that. I don't know if it's just because you're in that mentality and you just notice more or what. I, I don't know. But ever since I've become a, uh, become a parent, I've noticed a lot more about these stories in the newspapers, on the news. Uh, and you're just kind of thinking, what the fuck? How do these people do this? Well... I want to share with you today just a couple of stories about, you know, those that will definitely win Parent of the Year award, you know, fucking, oh, just brilliant, amazing parents, fucking, just, do I give them the award now, they blatantly, I'm going to have everyone's support in giving these, these lot of parents this award yeah it's going to be a joint award between two sets of parents right now the first set of parents um, they were at home they've got a 13 month old child so that's one year one month old for those who have to think about it which is roughly about the same kind of age as Oliver I mean Oliver's 14 months old just a little bit older but you know it's one of them, it's like around Oliver's age. And I'm reading this story and it's like, the story, the headline of the story gives it all away and, you know, gives you no room for guessing. It just tells you everything you need to know. And it was the, the title that caught my attention. But I'm not going to tell you the title because then it just there's no point in me telling you the story. But essentially, what happened was they there's this, these two parents with their 13 month old kid, and they got some friends over, and it was bath time, right? So they go and take the kid. Uh, well, the, the mother goes and takes the kid um, up to the bathroom, runs the bath, starts to bathe the child which is what you do right now whilst this all was all happening Daddy-O was downstairs um, entertaining his guests you know nothing wrong with that mum mum cleaning the baby upstairs the dad downstairs keeping people happy you know you got people come round to see you keeping them happy and he's at his computer and apparently he's burning off a, a CD or something for them. I didn't even know people did that nowadays, but hey. But he's burning off this CD for, for, this, for, for his guests. I don't know why, why this happened. I, I, I can't remember. I was astonished that it even happened in the first place. But for some reason, the mother decides to go outside for a cigarette. I don't know how she'd go from washing the baby to going, oh, fucking hell, this is strenuous, I need a fag, and going outside for a fag. I don't know how that happened, but essentially that's what she did. And she left the 13-month-old child, one year, one-month-old child, in the bath, alone. I'm just going to let that sink in for a second. Now us, with Oliver, 14 months old, we would never dream of doing that. 
I mean, Oliver can stand up and he can get his balance. He hasn't started walking yet, but he's got his balance. He, he's sorted. You know, it's only a matter of time before he starts those steps. But we would never leave him unsupervised in a bath. It just wouldn't happen. The two parents have been sent to jail, you know, quite fucking rightly so. Because um, it was the father who decided to go upstairs 15 minutes later after the child's been alone. And he's the one that found the child, surprise, surprise, in the bath, drowned. The kid drowned. So yeah, Parents of the Year Award to those two. Now the second bunch of parents, um, I, I, I forget how old the child is um, for this one, so do forgive me for that. But, you know, it's 2017, everyone has their, you know, their right to their opinions and things like that. Now this parent uh, believed in God very heavily, heavily believed in God. Now their poor child contracted meningitis. Now for children, this meningitis is deadly. And I mean, it's deadly. As in, that child will die if you do not get him medical attention. And the parent, because she's so in love with God, believes, this is the part that I just, I, I don't get, genuinely believes that God is going to save her child. I mean, seriously? God is going to save your child, yeah? So as you can imagine, the kid got worse and worse and worse and worse. She refused to take the child to a doctor's or to a hospital. Downright refused it, would not do it. All of her friends, people that, you know, that knew her, was pleading with her to take the child to a doctor, to a hospital. And she's like, no, God will save him. Well, guess what? Go on. Guess what happened? God didn't fucking save him. Does that mean that it was in God's plan that your child must die? No, your child died because you did not take him to a medical professional. Somebody who could have saved your child and your child could have gone on to live a, a, an amazing life. Actually, with you as a parent, I seriously doubt it. In fact, he's probably in a better place right now. Yeah, actually, yeah, the child's in a better place. No, it's a good job she didn't fucking take him to the hospital. Anyone who has a mother like that, I, I fucking hell. I genuinely feel sorry for you. As you all know, I don't do religion. So when I saw this story, I was like, fucking hell, another dickhead. So yeah, that's parent of the year number two. I hope you enjoyed this video. Probably not, because it's about dead babies and children. But if you wouldn't mind hitting the like, subscribe if you are new around here, and please share me with your friends, and I will catch you all next time. Ta-da!